boating. When you don't feel like doing stuff in the heat, do not boat. Oh, oh, this is gonna happen. Yeah! Ta-da! And opening this again because I'm gonna pull up the hook. <laughs> Windless control. Let's go to work. This time, tripping. Try to work for myself. Cause I'm falling apart. Please break me up. Cause I'm slipping. We have a rip in the sail, as you know, so we need sail tape. I guess our best bet is afterwards. Rise above the dough. Need all my challenges and search for my strength. Very nice, sir. It's something I get to me. With the wind fan. Of course. Sneaky bastard. All the things I didn't know, the pain, the hurt, I let it go. Start to believe in myself. Sleep last night. There's ash everywhere in the boat. Suffocating actually. And at the moment there's like 25 knots of wind, and that's just the beginning of it because uh, apparently it's going to increase up to 38 or something like that. So um, we were going to Athens, but I don't think it's a good idea to go to Athens because all of this is kind of coming from Athens. boat and still we get the ash inside and the smoke and we couldn't breathe uh, we only slept one hour maximum you know you heard the northern is better <laughs> yeah that's what we're trying to do further north or we go or we're gonna go to the island downwind thank you for the headline. you're welcome have a good day it's getting worse now is it better to go with the wind or towards it, 
that was bad. I went downstairs, came back up. Now you don't see anything anymore. That's smoke, eh? I can smell it now. You can see it clearly coming from the mainland. The country is facing an unprecedented environmental crisis. That's according to the country's Prime Minister. He predicts the worst is yet to come, with strong winds expected to whip up the flames. Look at the size of, uh, of the cloud. The whole horizon. We're going towards Athens. We still have like 60 miles to go, but this is like really bad, eh? Very sad. That is smell. Yeah. Not burning forest. Yeah. Sad. Have you ever seen light like this in the water? Not really. It looks like a solar eclipse. Yeah, it does. That's what it looks like. I think we're gonna sail through the night. But we there's need... a place. 12 nautical miles away, so I think we should stop there. We just all got a message on our devices all at the same time. We're traveling past the coast of Greece and it says extreme danger for fires in the next in the next days. Avoid any actions that may cause the fire. Access to forests and forested areas is prohibited. Avoid avoid unnecessary travel. See smoke or fire in your area for the fire department immediately. So we've been seeing lots of smoke and clouds for the whole evening. And there must be a lot of fires going on at the moment. I mean, we can't see anything from here, but it must be very, very close. So I'm sure there were fires, but my, now it must have passed the stage of national alert. She will be bashing in the, in the wave. Okay. No bashing. Just riding over the wave. This is a freaking black wasp. Oh God! Oh. It's, oh. <laughs> it's a carpenter bee. I can build a house. Definitely. It could. That seems like a bad thing to have on a boat. They burrow into half plant material. Oh. It's thirsty, man. Very thirsty. Over the course of the next few days, the weather became unpredictable, and as the fires intensified, we struggled to find a protected anchorage. I really felt the responsibility for the crew and the safety of the boat. I'm worried that the boat doesn't fit. Yeah, in between. Normal temperature. <laughs> Access granted. <laughs> With the weather clearing up, we're finally able to stock up on some essential biodegradable goodies. Yeah, we went to a place there and the lady overcharges for water, for fuel, for everything. First thing that says actually in avionics, very unfriendly personnel there. Very angry person. <laughs> That's exactly yeah. what it says. I'm watching the boat and then she just went and turned off the tap. That's it, and took the hose and <laughs> left the boat halfway. <laughs> My name is Cuban Pete. <laughs> 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 Very similar to my name is Cuban Pete. <laughs> 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 <laugh
Today I live on a platform, do the laundry on the platform, do my lunch on the platform. You look like an animal. It's just efficiency. I don't have to do any dishes. No offense. You can do all sorts. <laughs> no offense. Against raccoons. Good. What if the wind picks up and we leave you behind? Oh, of course. actually happened hardly ever Shaya crossed her first shipping lane I think she got some gray hair out of it seven ships and she panicked seven times yeah but but no anybody would have panicked it's okay there's a lot of a lot of traffic it's also about 35 degrees again yeah, it's seven yeah. o'clock in the evening and tomorrow we're afraid close to the, all of the concrete we're just gonna melt after sailing for a few months Traveling at an average speed of a bicycle, a simple taxi ride, felt almost surreal. I guess the cruising life has caught up with us, but not enough to miss out on Europe's oldest capital. The cars are so fast. So many noises. I prefer the dinghy. The dinghy brings me to safe places. Sometimes it turns off in the middle of the night when there's high winds and you may drift out in the middle of the sea. Yeah, but at least maybe somebody pick you up halfway through. Epic, eh? Is that the engine? Yeah, I think that was the original engine. I thought it was the guest engine. Here we go. 